As mobile operators advance their 5G rollouts with the deployment of next-generation standalone core architectures, I'm talking today with Richard Band, he's head of 5G Core at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, about the importance of cloud-native core platforms. So Richard, what does HPE see as the main drivers for 5G standalone and cloud-native deployments? Right, so really two parts to this question, the, the, the standalone and the cloud native. Now, standalone, I think, should be clear to everyone. Today, we have the rollout of non-standalone. It's going well. It's providing faster download speeds, but essentially, we, all we do is enhance mobile broadband. The, the bigger question is the cloud native. You know, in principle, we can do 5G standalone without using cloud native. So why is cloud native important? Cloud native is important because for for customers, for operators to actually monetize the 5G, we will need to, to have a high degree of innovation into the network. The whole intent behind 3GPP release 15 and 16 is to allow 5G to adapt the network to different use cases. And obviously, we need to understand what those use cases are and we need to develop them. And so we need innovation. We need innovation in the network. We need innovation in the partner ecosystem. So innovation is key. And cloud native is helping there because a the way that the software in the core network is implemented is is much more granular and allows you to do smaller and more frequent um, upgrades, which which allows us to speed up the innovation cycle. But also because cloud native technologies, in particular the the open source platform as a service that we we end up using, are technologies that non telco industry vertical partners are very familiar with and will allow them to be drawn into the ecosystem of the telco and develop the applications that are necessary. The other key element is automation. Automation is important because A, it helps to contain the cost of the operator, and B, because the network itself has become vastly more complex with 5G. So Richard, what is HPE's approach to 5G standalone? HP, you know, we are historically providing core network functions. We've been doing this for more than 30 years now. And when we looked at um, 5G and the need for cloud native, we recognized that an evolutionary approach to the software design was probably not going to be successful. So we decided to go with a clean sheet approach, adopting cloud native principles from the ground up and leveraging open source wherever we can with a clear intent to make telecommunications less special and use more IT tools and technologies. So we provide 5G core network functions typically subscriber data management, policy and charging, areas where we've historically been present. In addition, we have a strong presence in operations. And of course, all of these new 5G technologies needs to be managed. And so uh, things like 5G slice management, we have uh, an orchestration portfolio that is particularly well suited for these capabilities, as well as an, inter an intelligent assurance solution that helps us make sense of everything that's going on in this highly dynamic 5G environment. Then the third element of our proposition is you know, taking the 5G core network functions, working with partners to extend, putting the operations on top. It, it makes a lot of sense, but it's also a significant integration job. And here we launched earlier this year the 5G core stack proposition from HP. This 5G core stack proposition is actually bringing together both the network functions from HP and our partners, the operational capabilities, but also infrastructure, as well as a platform as a service, Red and OpenShift, to tie all of the pieces together. And we are pre-integrating that, so we are, you know, we're capable of deploying out of the box in an automated fashion, reducing the time to market, reducing the risk. And finally, we're offering this as a consumption-based pricing, so deployed on-premise in the telecom operator environment, but you only pay for what you use, and you pay on a per active subscriber, for the full capability set, from the infrastructure all the way to the application and across to the operational capabilities. So in the end, three things that you can expect from us, 5G core network functions, operation capability, a particular around slice management, and an end-to-end -end 5G core stack solution that brings all of these pieces together in a consumption-based pricing model. So there's a lot that's new here for the operators as well. So 
how is HPE helping operators to adopt 5G cloud native standalone systems? Right. There are several ways that we where we can help. So first of all, I mentioned the need to do pre-integration and we have been doing the pre-integration since actually since the end of 2018, early 2019. So early 2019, we announced a partnership with Samsung and OpenNet to build a an end-to-end -end 5G core stack consisting of, uh, of these three companies adopting full cloud native, uh, full cloud native and server-based architecture. And we actually demonstrated this at the end of last year. So this is, this is obviously one way of doing this. Um, the second piece of uh, how do we help is this core stack that I mentioned before. Again, when customers are faced with the challenge of doing the end-to-end -end integration, the fact that we are capable of coming in, including the infrastructure, is, uh, is something that is very valuable. And the fact that we provide a consumption-based pricing actually helps them allow, align cost with, uh, with revenue. Linked to this, um, we also launched a 5G lab earlier this year. And the 5G lab is really attended as a, an open space for vendors and customers to come together and test both how the pieces should be working together, but also to understand how things are changing. I mentioned before the speed of, um, the speed of innovation. One of the key elements for the speed of innovation is the ability to, to roll out upgrades much more quickly than we have done in the past. We also announced a, a work that we did together with one of our partners, Casa Systems, at Orange, where we were demonstrating a kind of closed loop um, in, a, in a pretty smart way, um, where we were showing a, a robot, a small robot being controlled remotely through a 5G slice that was consisting of network elements from HP and CASA systems, all controlled by our service director, our orchestrator. And when we introduced some latency into the network and we started to see that having an effect on the robots because the controller was not able to, to sufficiently quickly reach the robot, we actually triggered an upgrade and an introduction of, a, of an additional slice and switched the traffic to that slice. And that, that really v very visually illustrated the impact of network slicing and the ability to close the loop end to end. The demonstration itself is, is a clear indication of something that we, we were completely and utterly incapable of doing in previous generations of networks. And so I think is a, is a good illustration of how we're helping our customers understand the implication of a, of a new, uh, both a new deployment and a new operational paradigm and start seeing what it allows them to do towards their customers as well. Well, this is clearly a very critical time for mobile operators in terms of the deployment of standalone 5G systems and the adoption of cloud native. So Richard, thanks very much for telling us today about what HPE is doing in this area. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thank you.